हेलो एवरीवन दिस सत्यम कुमार ठाकुर वेलकम टू द चैनल दिस इज सिक्स लेक्चर ऑफ पैटर्न प्रोग्राम सीरीज ओके इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी दैट हाउ टू राइट प्रोग्राम फॉर हॉलो मिरर्ड हॉलो राइट ट्रायंगल पैटर्न ओके सो यू शुड सॉल्व ऑल द पैटर्न प्रोग्राम्स ओके ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द पैटर्न प्रोग्राम्स बिकॉज इट विल हेल्प यू टू यू नो इम्प्रूव योर लॉजिक लॉजिक बिल्डिंग स्किल्स ओके सो प्लीज ट्राई टू सॉल्व ऑल द पैटर्न प्रोग्राम्स इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी ओके regarding uh, regarding program okay or in the uh, regarding this lecture you can ping me on instagram or on twitter or on telegram or in the comment section as well okay so let us start this lecture so before you know uh, thinking to write program for any star pattern or any pattern whether it is number pattern or it is star pattern you should first observe about that pattern okay so let us first observe about that about this pattern that what is special about this pattern so first of all if you will observe that how many rows we need to print how many rows we need to print we need to print six rows right 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so we need to print six rows so first thing is that the number of rows that we need to print okay that number of rows that we need to print is six okay so this is the first thing that we observed after that if you will see there are there is a two uh, you know uh, aspects of this uh, this pattern okay first one is this one okay and the second one is the star one that i have drawn in the uh, below picture okay so if you will see for the first row first row how many spaces we have how many spaces we have we have five space right we have five space 1 2 3 4 five okay we have five space and then we have one star okay in the second row if you will see we have four space and then we have two star okay four space 1 2 3 4 okay okay empty boxes are spaces okay so here three space and two star here four space sorry uh, two space okay here two space okay two space and two star okay here one space and two star okay and in the last row zero space and six star okay six stars so if you will see if you will see that how we are you know calculating this space okay when we will write the program then how we will keep track of this space so if you will see for the first row how what is the row number row number is 1 and what is the total number of rows that we have to print it is 6 right so if we sub subtract a uh, row number from total number of rows we are getting 5 right so we need to print what five spaces okay before printing our first star okay in the second row if you will see in the second row if you will see what is the row number row number is 2 and how many total number of rows so if you subtract it we are getting four so that means we need to print four spaces before our first star of the second row okay so if you will see for this one for for the third row for the third row what is the total number of rows six and what is row number three so uh, difference is three so we have to print three spaces before our first star so i hope you understood this concept okay so let us summarize that that what did we observe from this so the second point that we observe is number of spaces number of space before our first star okay before first star okay before first star is what is total rows okay total rows and minus what minus row number minus row number right right this is the only thing that we observed so our first portion of uh, uh, program is done okay first portion of first part of this pattern is done now the second part is this one okay now the second part is the below portion okay so in this case we will take a variable k okay the initial value of k will be 1 okay so what what is the significance of k i will show you just now okay so if you will see that we have here also we have six rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay it is just the this second portion of the above pattern okay so i have taken that variable k in such a way that okay in such a way that after incrementing for each row it will be equal to the row number okay so what does that mean let me show you okay so for first row let us talk about the first row okay so first row okay first row what will be the value of what is the row number for first row what is the row number row number is 1 okay we will write it as this one only row number is equal to 1 okay and what will be the initial value of k you have to remember one thing that we are going to uh, initialize k equal to 1 for each row okay so what will be the initial value of k k initial value will be 1 right and what is row number row number is 1 so if you will see if you will see 
that uh, what I told you that for each row we are going to initialize k by 1. So, if k is 1, okay, that means we have to print star, right? Right. So, if k is 1, in this case we need to print 1 star, right? I, I hope you are understanding it, right? If k is 1, then we need to print 1 star. Now, first row is over, okay, first row is over, we will go to where? We will go to row number 2, okay? Row number 2, what is the value of k? k value is 2. Right? Uh, sorry, a k value will again get initialized to 1. As I said, that value of k is going to be initialized to 1 for each row. Okay, What will be the value of 1 over k? It is 1. right? And so, if you can see that if the value of k is 1, okay, then we are at position, we are at position 1, 2. Okay, 1, 2. That means this position. So, we will have to print 1 star. Right? We will have to print 1 star. So, I, I hope you are observing that if the value of k is 1, okay then that means we have to print one star okay and for every row we are going to initialize k by one okay so uh, what will happen after that we need to increment k okay we will increment k by one so what will be the value of k it will be two right and if you will see that if the value of k becomes two that means for this row it will be what two two okay two is the column number and two is the row number okay so what we have to print we have to uh, here also we have to print uh, two. So, if you will see, observe, okay, I have taken the variable k in such a way, in such a way that after incrementing, when it reaches to the end of that row, it becomes equal to the row number. I hope you understood this point, right? Because if you will see, uh, the initial value of k was 1, okay, k was incremented in such a way that at the end of the row, okay, the row number and the value of k becomes uh, equal, right? And the third thing that we uh, observed is that if we are in the last row, if we are in the last row, okay, we have to print stars, okay, we have to print stars. All the other cases we have to print uh, space, okay. So, so let us summarize this, okay, let us summarize this. So, the first thing that we observed is what? If the value of k is 1, okay, then we have to print star, right. Second thing, what did we observe? If the value of k is equal to the row number, okay, is equal to the row number, then also we need to print one star, okay. And the third thing, what did we observe? We observed that if, if the, uh, if the uh, value of k, okay, if, uh, sorry, if the row number is 6, if the row number is 6, then also we need to print all the stars, okay. So, these are the three things that we observed for the second half and these are the two things that we observed for the first half. Okay, I hope you understood. If you are not understanding at any point, you can comment down your uh, query. Okay, I will explain you. Okay, so let us uh, uh, see the pseudo code for it. Okay, I have already written it to, to save the time. Okay, so if you will see the first for loop, the first for loop is applied for keeping track of the row number. Okay, so how many times it will run? It will run row number of times. Okay, so what is the value of i? Value of i is 1. Okay, and you say i is initialized to 1, it will run up to how much? i is less than equal to rows. In our case, rows is what? 6. Rows is total number of rows. So, it, this for loop will run 6 number of times. Okay. For, for every row, what is going to happen? For every row, we have to first print what? Space before first star, right? So, we have to print first space before first star for every row, right? So, if you will see, for first row, what is happening? j is initialized to 1. Okay, and J will execute exactly rows minus I number of times. Okay, I hope you you understood this point. Okay, that rows uh, number of space before first star is equal to total number of rows minus row number. Okay, so what is rows? Rows is total number of rows and what is I? I is row number. Okay, so for first row, how many times it will execute? Rows is 6. Okay, and I value will be 1 for first row. So how many times it will execute? It will execute for 5 times. So it is going to print how many spaces? 5 spaces. Okay. I hope you understood it. Okay. What is third uh, for loop is doing? Third for loop is responsible for printing the second half of the pattern. Okay. So, it will print the star and space between stars. Okay. So, what, what do we, what, what are we doing? We are initializing value of k to 1. Okay. As you saw in that, uh, uh, in that page. Okay. We are initializing k value to 1. And we are running it up to i. Okay. What is i? i is row number. Okay. i is row number. Okay. And it will uh, uh, get incremented each time by 1. Okay. And after that, we are keeping a condition if. Okay. What uh, what, what is the, in, this, in that condition? I have written it here. 
okay so if you will see if it is the first element okay if it is the first element okay in the second half okay that means if the value of k is 1 in that case we need to print what we need to print star right so if if this if any of these conditions since all these conditions are are joined through uh, uh, or so any of the, if any of these conditions will uh, become true so the whole if condition will become true and we will we have to print star okay what this second condition is doing k is equal to equal to y this will check if we are at the last position or not as you can see in this uh, pattern that uh, in this in this thing okay in this thing you can see that initial value of k was 1 k got incremented and when k becomes 2 okay and the row is also 2 so if both are equal then we need to print one star right so so uh, this this is doing that so if we that means if we are at the end of a row we need to print one star this is the condition that is checking and what is this this condition checks that whether we are at the last position or not okay oh, sorry whether we are at the last row or not if we are in the last row we have to print star okay if uh, uh, other than that for all the positions we need to print space okay and af after this for loop is over after this for loop is over okay after this for loop is over we need to line change and then the for, uh, first for loop will be over okay i hope you understood the code as well as the uh, uh, as well as the explanation okay if you have any doubt you can comment down your query or you can ping me on uh, telegram okay so let us now jump to the code and we will see okay yeah so you if you will see that i have already written this code okay i have already written this code oh yeah so if you will see i have already written this code let us execute this code okay let us execute this code so control b okay so this is executed let us give it output as 5 okay so you can see that we are getting mirrored uh, uh, hollow right triangle pattern okay so uh, i already explained the code okay so uh, if you have any query ping down your query okay and if you like the video please share it subscribe it and like it thank you